So here I am with Mrs. Alice Louise Govender, having a nice glass of red this afternoon, enjoying the beautiful South African Durban Amschlange weather. And as you can see, she's doing this, we are doing our very first Salad Master in-house presentation in South Africa at Mrs. Govender's house. So here we've got a beautiful selection of um, ingredients. And Alice will be demonstrating to us how to make this beautiful dish. So tell me a little bit about what you're going to be doing with us today. Obviously, you've heard a little bit about the product, what it does. But explain to me, it's quite a combination of what you will be doing today in terms of the ingredients you're using. It's very unusual, I will say. To all you YouTubers, cheers and welcome to my kitchen. Thank you to Monica from Salad Master for the opportunity to host her first in South Africa demonstration. So let me take you straight through to the ingredients. Um, the dish is um, a prawn calabash dish. As you all know, we're all going for the healthier options these days um, with diabetes um, on the rise and, and lots of other chronic illnesses that have, are um, coming to us because of our lifestyle. So today's dish um, is a favorite of both um, Eastman Western and bringing together um, what is regarded as a high calorie seafood, which is our prawn. And we have fresh shell prawns here, which is about 350 to 400 grams. And we're gonna combine this dish with an old South African Indian um, favorite, which is the calabash. So we're going to do a calabash and prawn dish that's done very simply and as you can see, uh, you know, it's not an expensive dish and it can be eaten more often because we are mixing a high calorie seafood with a very healthy dish. We're going to start with, um, first of all, you've got to bring your happy mood um, to, the, to the cooking demo. And we're going to start that off with a glass of Cheers. Sauvignon. Cheers to you. And we're going to move straight to the prawn. And I'm going to use... Cajun spice, which I've um, decanted into this container, and that's all it's going to take. And I like Cajun spice because it's got the chili, it's got seafood flavoring, as well as garlic and some herbs as well. And I'm just going to add a little bit of olive oil into my prawn to help it mix well. This also ensures that it doesn't stick to the pan when we put it in. Uh, nobody likes to have broken prawns. I'm just going to massage this into the prawn. And I trust you did definitely wash your hands. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what they say, a little something something makes it even tastier. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> so I think we are now ready. Yeah. I'm just going to add like about a teaspoon of oil to the pan. I'm just going to quickly wipe my hand here. Just a drizzle. And we're going to add our prawns. You like to do them individually so they don't clump and stick. All the lovely oils and juices into the pan. There we go. So as you can see, we've put the lid on and we're going to do this for about a minute. And the reason for this is because you then allow um, the prawn, which is a very delicate meat and cooks very quickly, to heat all over, top and bottom. And then after about a minute, we're then going to open up the pan, just toss it around, and then we're going to be removing it from the oil and setting it aside. Okay, so we're going to take the lid off now. As you can see, the corn is cooked beautifully. It's turned white, which means the meat is essentially ready. And as you can see, the salad master is amazing because none of it is stuck to the pan. And all its juices are still here. And so I'm just going to toss this around, turning them as we go. 
And I'm going to put the lid back on for about a minute again. And if you feel you need more spice or more um, heat, more pungency, uh, please, please feel free to add a little bit. I'm just going to add a little bit of chili powder, plain chili powder, which is going to enhance not just the color, but the flavor as well. And we're going to cover that up and leave that for a minute. Okay, so we're a minute into the cooking process after we've turned it. And as you can see, it looks absolutely lovely. And lovely and delicate. Into the cooking of the calabash, which is going to be braised or sauteed in the juices of the prawn, and that's going to allow all the prawn flavor to infuse into the calabash. Reduce the heat completely because it's hot. The second part, as you can see. The, the cooking of the prawn just took you about three minutes. We're going to add some olive oil, about three or four tablespoons of that. And into that, it's going to go our onions. I like a very rich flavored um, onion base. You can turn the heat up if you want. So that it adds a lot of flavor to your dish. Oh, it smells lovely. I can see Monica's mouth is watching already. <laughs> and then we also have some fresh garlic. I haven't added it to the oil because I don't want it to overcook. And so I'm just going to use fine grater. You can smash it, slice it, dice it, however you want. I just prefer this. It's also good for the kids because if the kids don't see whole cloves of garlic, they're still going to get to eat it, you see. Right, so I'm just going to add two cloves of garlic, which I think is a reasonably healthy dose. Oops, that one's in the oil. Let's grab that out quickly. Continue. And we're done. Don't forget to scrape the bottom. We've got all our garlic in. And I'll just give that a toss. green chili um, you can prepare these as you like you can have them sliced um, large pieces small pieces and just depending on how hot you like your food um, I'm South African Indian I'm Kwesu Mattel we like our hot and spicy food so I've just added <laughs> about five or six chilies to that poor Monica we've got curry leaf <laughs> Indian staple and we're just going to put that in as well these are from my garden they smell absolutely divine and there we're ready to go I'm just going to cover this up and let this simmer and let the onions um, soften and then we're going to be adding um, our colorbush soon right, youtubers we're back I've allowed the onion to fry a bit with the chili with garlic and the curry leaf, and as you can see, that looks divine. None of the juices from the pan is going to waste because it's all in the pan and it's going to be really yummy. The onions are nicely sauteed, they're nicely braised, um, it's nice and al dente, and we've got a combination of some pieces of onion that have got little brown bits at the end which tells you that your onion is ready and because we've added green chili and we've also used cajun spice which has got a little bit of a tang and we've used a pinch or two of plain chili powder on the corn this dish only requires your turmeric powder so we're not doing a traditional chili powder curry dish changing it up a bit and it makes Indian food so much more exciting. 
in here we've got just about five or six hundred grams of calabite, which we're going to add here. This is a wonderful way of introducing calabash to my young nieces and nephews who haven't eaten it before. And uh, yes, as a result of prawn being in it, uh, they quite enjoyed it. So I'm just going to add some salt to taste and we're going to turn this up, um, turn it around in the pot a bit, toss it up and cover it with the lid um, and let it simmer for about five minutes. So at this, we're just going to add about a flat teaspoon amount of salt and give it a good mix. If Monica comes closer, she's going to have a lovely look at how um, all your good stuff comes to the top. The color is lovely. Um, you can add as much turmeric as you want if you want it lighter or brighter. There it goes, and now we're going to cover this and let this simmer for about five to seven minutes. Yep. Okay, so we're about four to five minutes into the cooking process of the calabash, and we're going to remove the lid and give it a toss. Wine first. <laughs> Wine first. Just letting all those nutrients back into the dish. Oh, it's tender it already. It smells amazing. And then... I'm going to leave this for about another seven minutes. Yeah. Brilliant. Let's go. Alright, so Monica and I are back. And we're just going to lift this up. And we're about seven minutes, seven minutes into the, the cooking. I'm just going to give this a turn. Oh, that's beautifully cooked. It smells lovely. That's exceptionally tender. Color is now cooked. Absolutely lovely. Lots of moisture, nutrients all locked in. And let me tell you something, guys. I am diabetic and also a survivor. So it's very important to me what I eat, what the nutrient content is, and if I want to live to a ripe old age and have a healthy lifestyle, it's not just about the exercise, it's about the food that we put into our bodies as well. So guys, um, yes, it's a wonderful product. I know I'm fully in, and now that my calabash is fully cooked, I'm going to just take the prawn and I'm going to put that on the top. And the reason I'm not going to mix this into the food as such, but just to sort of pop them in, scatter them around, is because I don't want the beautiful Cajun spice that we added to the prawn during our marinating process to be washed away and here we go. I'm just going to prepare some fresh coriander and we're going to pop that on. A very beautiful dish, exceptionally healthy and exceptionally tasty. All right, YouTubers, we're back and ready to serve. This is just a tasting portion. And so we're just going to give ourselves a very healthy portion of that and as you can see I have a fork for Monica yeah, yeah. and myself and I wish you guys were here to taste this with us and cheers let's enjoy let's taste the final test This smells so good. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. That's really yummy. You need to, you oh need my. to cut. This is too good. It's a really dignified way to do this. <laughs> yes, Miss Nigella. <laughs> it's a 
try this dish, super simple, 15 minutes, start to finish, packed with nutrients. And for, the, for those of you like me, who are diabetic and um, a, a cancer survivor, or struggling with high blood pressure, or high cholesterol, perfect dish to make, and you don't have to feel guilty about eating all of the prawns in this dish. Enjoy, everyone. Thank you, Miss Governor. It All right, is. and here we have Monica, um, who can't seem to put the fork down. <laughs> you know, it's a bit two forks. <laughs> it is absolutely delicious. I would never in a million years have combined these two ingredients together. Prawn, king prawns with uh, calabash, or as in the UK we call it maybe callaloo. Absolutely delicious, full of flavor. Flavor. Sorry, it's the red wine there flavor and as you can see I've, I've mixed Alice's fork uh, and I finished it within a few minutes it is absolutely delicious so thank you Alice and I'm so looking forward to doing Sound Master Business with you here in the UK in South Africa no more wine for you <laughs> <laughs> say bye to everyone <laughs> <laughs>